You know what day of the week it is. It's Monday. Today's topic is antique hat pin holders. Hat pins have a extremely long and varied history all the way back to the 1400s, but we're going to be talking about the lifespan of the hat pin in the 1890s to the 1920s. Believe it or not, hat pins were even banned in the 1920s, but we'll talk about that later. Hat pins are commonly made out of ceramic, bisque, porcelain, and sometimes brass. Extremely rare examples are made out of silver, gold plate, and I've never seen a solid gold example, but I would imagine that they do exist somewhere. Just like all good antiques and collectibles, of course we're going to have reproductions. If you look at the bottom of your hat pin holder and you see a quarter sized hole, unfortunately it's probably a reproduction. Or it could be a salt shake. Most of the hat pin holders I've come across that have quarter sized holes in the base tend to have this red china mark which is always a sign of a reproduction. Sometimes you'll come across a reproduction that's made out of porcelain or bisque. They would try to fool you any way they could. As far as I was told a lot of reproductions came out of California in the 1970s. All of the marks you just saw are a reproduction including this one right here. This one would have had a made in China sticker attached to it. Most of the time, hat pin holders don't even have a hole in the base. Leading up to the 1910s, the hat pin was actually banned because suffragettes were using them as weapons. And if you think, oh, it's just a hat pin, well, these hat pins were around 8 to 16 inches long, or even longer. In one sense, if they were using the hat pin to defend themselves, it shouldn't have been banned. But if they were using it to cause trouble, they rightfully banned it. By the 1920s, hat pins were rendered completely useless. The big hat fashion was gone, and it was time for the flapper years. By 1925, the hat pin and the hat pin holder completely died out. Thank you for watching, and have a great rest of your day, my friend.